How to make a freeze frame effect. Duplicate your clip. Find the frame you want to freeze and go to change clip speed and select freeze frame. Delete the part before your frame and extend the still clip. Select both clips, right click and select new fusion clip. Go to the fusion tab. As you can see this one is the foreground clip, and this one is the background. I will move them the way it is more clear to me. Select your foreground node and add a polygon mask. Go to the control panel and check the invert box. Now it is time to create your mask, make the mask as good as you can. When you are finished, go to the control panel again and uncheck the invert box. Now you have a clear mask of your object, but it is floating around. To fix this, set the timeline where both clips are in the same frame. Select the first node with the background clip. Hit command and space, type, planar tracker, and add it to the node. In the control panel, set the reference time to current frame by pressing the set button. Set the tracker mode to hybrid point area, and the motion type to translation, rotation, scale. Select the area you want to track, and hit the track to start button. When you are done, hit the create planar transform button. It will create a new node with the tracking info. Take this node and add it between the foreground node and the merge node. Our still frame is now where it should be, but we want it to disappear after the both clips comes in the same position. It is very simple to make it. Set you timeline where your both clips match together, and select the polygon node. In the control panel, hit the keyframe button for the level slider. We want our mask to be visible until this frame. Go one frame forward and bring the level slider down to zero. Now from this frame and on, our mask is not visible. The effect is done, you can go back to your edit page and continue your editing. If you find this clip useful, make sure to watch my other videos, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned.